We've got to remember what made the working class strong. Solidarity. Workers standing together. Students and workers standing together. Mathematics. If you're on 16 pound an hour at 40 hours, it's 640 quid. 40 hours, 10 pound an hour. So why should we allow these companies to take 240 pound out of every person's pocket every week? If it wasn't for us, none of these building sites would end up like lovely offices that you see around here. Last week they announced that the top bosses in this country had a pay rise last year of 49 percent. 49% of them is one and a half million pound each. They're getting an average, right? They ain't in it together with the rest of us. The plan of leaves is down because they want to reap the benefits of your house that you were trying to buy. Wake up! China's down here! We've been through this before, and we beat them before, and we'll beat them again, but we need your assistance to come down here! We aren't going away. We're going to fight and fight until we get this agreement back reinstated and then we're going to go after the casualisation on these building sites and agencies will be the next target. And all the people who will watch this on YouTube, you need to listen as well and you need to come down here and in your regions and fight against this. Do it now! What else? trade unionists placed on this blacklist. Only 300 cases have gone to court. Anyone who's ever been prominent in the trade union movement should get in touch with the Information Commissioner's Office to find out whether their file has been kept by the Consultant Association and then get in touch with the blacklist support group on how we can take your case forward. Because there is a lot of lads out there who've been blacklisted over 20, 30 years and haven't been given work off the back of that blacklist. <laughs> Travelling time fares, no right to dispute if you get laid off. 
intelligent, so I understand your pain. I really do. We come down here today. Wake up! These are electricians who are right on strike. I'm from the RMT, and we've come down to show solidarity with our protest. We are all the 99 percent. We're going to fight back. We're not going to take it. We're going to hit the streets. We're going to shut this country down. Tested Elsa Konoko refinery today where there's about 40, 50 Alpha Beta guys on there without a shop steward. And I was informed on the way down that those lads have walked in total to support this day of action. Let me say a quick word about the rank and file committee that's been set up. I welcome that rank and file committee. I welcome stewards and individual workers getting involved and taking direct action. Today, we've given notice to Balfour Beatty, one of the ringleaders of this dispute, that we will be balloting for official industrial action from next Wednesday. We're in discussion with a number of clients, and those clients are making it clear to us that they've got no intention of employing or dealing with contractors who don't have legitimate relationships with Unite and the other construction unions. That is a major breakthrough and Balfour Beatty will have to take stock of what that all means. <laughs> Oh, 
Disorder. I said, well, that means there's no disorder. Shot. 